So I figured I would give you guys a quick tour of the hostel around here at the hostel with the generator. Um, this has been an issue, but I feel like this is the issue with most keys. Okay, so you walk in and you're going to probably do this. You're going to walk in, especially if you're American, you're going to be like, okay, where's the light? And you're going to say, oh, here's the light. But nothing is going to happen. There's no nothing. So, of course, then you're like, what in the world is going on here? Because this is exactly what we did. What is going on here? You need to take your key. And you'll hear that click. And that's basically the bathroom light clicks on automatically. That's true. Um, there we go. And that takes a second. There we go. So, you need this to work it. It's... It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I get why a lot of European countries do it because, let's be honest, we're tourists, we're on vacation, we don't think twice about leaving the lights on. I mean, we should to conserve it, so that makes total sense. Um, I'm staying here with somebody else, I'm trying to be respectful of their space, but this is your washroom, okay? Um, yes, I'm in my PJs. This is your washroom. It's pretty standard. It's, I mean, it's beautiful tile work. Toilet, sink, they do come with two towels. Um, and then you have a small towel, but the young lady who uh, cleaned the room took the towel and never replaced it, but okay. Um, I will say this, the water does not get hot. If you like a hot shower where you're like steaming and you're kind of red when you're done, you are not gonna get that here. It's just, I we've been here for eight, nine nights now and the water got super hot one time um if you happen to forget your shampoo conditioner or excuse me well yeah because you they say you can wash your hair and face your whole body with this um i i brought my own stuff but i mean pretty standard <sighs> again soap that at your disposal but yeah no super hot water all right um Gonna show you their space so we have the double room um it's this reminds me if you've ever stayed in the pods in new york city it reminds me of one of the pods it's very standard um a place to put your clothes a desk these are the beds um you can slide two beds together excuse me you can slide two beds together these come down to be like this so if you want to store stuff at night I think this controls the light. Yeah, there's light here, but we don't utilize that. Um, you do have adapters that you can plug into, which is awesome because I brought the wrong plug. Um, you have a light. Doesn't get super bright, but you have that option. Um, our lovely view. Uh, you have three um, outlets I don't know what these are nor did I go hunting so if you know what those are yay on you um, I don't nor do I care I didn't utilize this um that's pretty much the gist of it I I like the wallpaper the wallpaper is definitely really pretty really pretty um but it's pretty basic pretty standard let me see I'll stop all right there and that's it. I mean, it's the generator hostel. This is the two people room. One person could share it. Um, you can just slide the beds together or, well, excuse me, a couple could share it. You can slide the bed together. I will say this. This is the mattress. This is the frame. It is not comfortable. You get one pillow, one cover. So yeah, that's the generator hostel. Figured I would just, so I figured I would take a moment and just kind of talk about my review while I'm sitting here. Yes, I'm in my PJs. Um, we leave tomorrow really, really early, so I have a mask on. But you're not here to see me. You're here to hear my review about the Generator Hostel in Paris. Would I stay here again? No. And it's not that um, it's been uncomfortable or unpleasant. The people that work here are really nice. Um, the staff upstairs, the bar staff, we I've been twice. The first night, the gentleman was very friendly, very um, welcoming. The second time I went, the young lady and the young man that were attending the bar just were not, they weren't 
friendly, but they weren't rude in any way. They just kind of, they were take it or leave it. Um, I, let me talk about the bar upstairs real quick. So there is a rooftop bar that serves dinner and it is a bar bar. Um, please keep in mind that you can smoke outdoors here in Paris. So if smoking bothers you, just know that you, it, you may be surrounded by nicotine. Um, and it's interesting because it's not just regular like cigarettes. They, a lot of Europeans, um, excuse me, I keep saying a lot of Europeans, but what I've noticed is a lot of people roll their own cigarettes. Um, it's not weed. It, I saw somebody rolling it and then lighting up. It was not weed. You can, um, marijuana has a distinct smell. <sighs> so that aside, you know, I dealt with that. We, we dealt with that, but the food is okay. We got the pizza the first night and it was, I mean, it's pizza, right? And then I got a burger the second time and it was just a mess. It was a messy burger and they didn't bring me any ketchup for my french fries. Luckily, I had stored a packet of ketchup from another restaurant. Um, they gave me ketchup and I didn't eat anything. I didn't order anything that required ketchup in my mind. But I knew I would need that ketchup later. So I stored it and I'm glad I stored it because um, I utilized it later. So back to the hostel. Um, it's in a... It's in an, a a residential neighborhood if that makes sense not it's not in the hustle and bustle in of paris if you are going to stay at the generator hostel you will need to take the tube everywhere um which we did and you we are literally five minutes from the tube i can throw a rock at the tube station um is colin fabian i'm probably saying it wrong um and then you just get off where you need to do i'll do a video on the um metro here it's, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty. It's a pretty simple, straightforward system. I feel like the metro here is a lot easier to navigate than the tube and the DC metro. I've used both of them, and they're both chaotic. Um, what else about the generator hostel? The laundry here sucks. I did a video on where you can go do your laundry if you're going to be here for an extended period of time. Do not do your laundry here. It will not dry, and it will take you all day. And it will cost you a lot. Um, and the machine that gives you change, the lady you literally told me that we had to beat her. She was like, she's a good girl. You just got to beat on her a little bit to get your change. And I'm thinking, oh my God. Okay, thank you. Um, what else can I tell you? Like I said, if you're looking for someplace that's a little bit more, I don't want to use the word luxurious. But if you're looking for someplace that's a little bit more luxurious, um, you're going to have a coffee pot in your room or a refrigerator in your room. Um... This is not the place for you. If you are used to staying at the Holiday Inn or the Hilton, or not the Hilton, or the Hyatt, um, or I don't know, some other fancier, <laughs> not that the Holiday Inn is, um, you know, five star, but if you're looking for certain accommodations and certain luxuries, you're probably not gonna find that here. It is priced at its point for a reason. Um, and we originally were supposed to spend the last leg of our trip in London, but London is still closed. So we just stayed here for the entire nine days um, because I knew when we originally booked, as I said, I can only probably handle three nights at a hostel. I'm going to eventually need a decent hotel. And here I am spending nine nights at a, uh, nine nights at a hostel and it has been a learning experience and it's been great. Let me tell you, it's safe. I have never not felt safe. I mean, we didn't go out at night, but I just think that's kind of anywhere, right? I mean, you have to be aware of your surroundings. There's definitely homeless people living in one of the alleys, but again, that could be in any part in Paris. So that, that doesn't deter where I would stay. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, there is a lot of stuff in the neighborhood, but it's a lot of the restaurants either close at seven or don't feed you until seven whereas if you're in the touristy area obviously they accommodate you all day so those are things you're gonna have to keep in mind um other than that do your research check it out um watch other videos watch my video if you are looking for a place where you can get ice from ice machine or you can make your coffee in the morning or you can store your food in the refrigerator um, this ain't, this isn't it. This, this is not it. But if you're just traveling through Paris for two nights and you just want a cheap place to stay and you don't need all those accommodations, then this is it. And if you say to me, oh, Taisha, you can just get coffee. You're in Paris. You can just get coffee in Paris. No, you can't. Because the coffee I'm used to 
Folgers, one scoop in my Keurig with a little bit of hazelnut creamer is not happening here. All the coffee, the cafes I've gotten here have been little cups and have been super strong. Too strong for me. Like so strong, I'm just like, mm. So no, it is, you, it's just not possible. So just keep bear that in mind. Just because you're in a city that is known for its foods and its pastry doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get the basic things that you're used to, such as coffee in the morning or a McDonald's uh, McGriddle or a regular Dr. Pepper. I'm going to do a whole video on the food, but we're going to focus on the generator hostel. If you're looking for luxury, don't come here. If you're looking for a quick couple nights where you're just passing through Paris, come here.